summer session was great because we got to hang out together, build team chemistry. Uh, we even got to work out a little bit. So I mean, the summer session was a great time uh, before school to kind of get used to things because it kind of feels like I'm going into this year as a sophomore a little bit, getting a little background and in, uh, in how things roll here. So we kind of knew each other coming into that summer session and then, then having that summer session it kind of got us closer, got us closer to the older guys. They've really taken us in and tried to lead us and show us how things go around here. So I mean it's just great to have such great guys and gr great guys that work hard, uh, that are fun to be around and, and great to work out with. I wanted to be around the best. Um, I mean there's such a great class coming in here. I knew that coming in. So, I, And when I had the opportunity to come here I decided I didn't want to look back on it. I want to be part of something special. And uh, I, I mean, you can be good in the games, and uh, but practice is what makes you better. And, and being around the best every day in practice really pushes you. And I've learned that uh, for the time I've been here. Just being around with the best it just gets you on such a different level. So I'm just honored to be part of it. Working out with Anthony every day has been been a blast. I mean, his length is so good. I mean, it's going to help me so much. So uh, he's got that seven seven wingspan, and, and having him on the court is going to be awesome this year, I mean, just defensively, because uh, we were doing standing reach yesterday and he almost touched the backboard, so, I mean, not only does he have that, but the guy works so hard and uh, we're just great to work out together. There was a guy named George Mikan way back, and that, there was a, that was actually the drill that he made me do that I can tell you I didn't want to do that one more time when I was in fourth, fifth grade, but uh, once I got to seventh, eighth grade, I know why he was making me do it, I touch around the basket, it's just a lot better now and, and I'm just really fortunate to have such a great father figure. Um, I mean just standing around the basket doing little hook shots. I mean it really you start in really close, you get 10 off the backboard, then as you, you start getting better you do no rim and then you, then you start moving away from the basket. That's when you start getting your hook shot and then you're doing reverse. So I mean it just kind of I mean, when you're in the pickup games and when you're playing games it kind of you don't think about it. You just go to the basket and finish. I mean it's, it's kind of second nature. So. Having done those drills just really helped me a lot. Not a lot of people do it, so that's what kind of sets me apart. And it's such a tough shot to guard because it's hard for a shot blocker to get it. You don't see it coming, it kind of just goes. And, and uh, I mean, it's something I picked up when I was little. Didn't think I'd ever use it, but my dad taught it to me. So I kept honing on it and working on it and working on it. And uh, it kind of just happened. Kind of took it out in the game one day and uh, it just kind of picked up. It's just, it's a kind of a lost art, I think. Uh, not a lot of people do it, and I, that's why I, I like it.